Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan here with another Plan With Me video in my B6 food and fitness tracker. There you see my spread for Monday, April 2nd, and it's only really till Friday, April 6th because I don't track my foods on Saturdays or Sundays. So I went with a whole scrapbook type of spread here and I love the way it looks. It's something so totally out of my comfort zone. Whereas for this week, April 9th through to April 13th, ooh, Friday the 13th, I'm going to be going back to doing a bullet journal type spread and I'm going to be using these gorgeous Color Lux fine tip gel pens. I haven't used these before so this will be a way for me to um, test them out but I'll be doing a rainbow spread and then adding some decorative features with my Tombow dual brush pens. All right so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just take my recollections ruler and I'm going to be following the same spread that I've done in the past. It's a very similar layout, but I find now that I think I've I found a layout that works for me. So now I guess the creative process is being able to decorate it so that it looks different every week and that I'm challenging myself every week to be able to decorate it. Because I think once you found a spread, especially with bullet journaling, if you found a spread that works for you and is functional, why change it? But then again, I mean, part of the creative process is trying new things. So we'll see how the, this layout works for me. And if I can find a better layout that um, is more functional, then I'll give it a try. If you guys have um, some links to other YouTubers who or who do bullet journaling, especially for food tracking, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to see their videos. So right now I'm just drawing out the boxes in the different rainbow colors of the pens and I actually really like these pens the only thing with them though is they do shadow a little bit and because I've, I think I'm pressing way too hard um, it kind of does bleed through a little bit and my 28 pound paper is good for most things but I think it's not thick enough to be able to take it for example a lot of bullet journal users out there use um, different notebooks that are much thicker in paper And the way that I use my food and fitness tracker, if you're not familiar with it from before, is that the top three boxes, or the bigger boxes, are gonna be for my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I also include snacks in there. And then in the bottom box will be my fitness. I need to really be better about working out. I have I used to be really good about working out five times a week. I'm now down to about two. Just, I haven't been able to get my motivation back. And then in the top right hand corner there in the purple is where I'm going to write down my weigh in and then there on the side is where I'm going to plan out my dinners. It's nice to have a list of the dinners that I've planned out for the week so that if I decide that I'm not going to have it on that specific day I can always change it around in the actual dinner box for that day of the week. So here I take my Tombow dual brush pens and in brush lettering right in the days of the week. And you'll see for Thursday, I write the letter R. And this is, I think, from my university days. Um, the, the letter T for Thursday was always an R in university. And I guess that's just always stuck with me. And then in hand lettering, writing down way in. And if you've noticed, I only track my food and fitness Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I do not track on Saturdays and Sundays. Those are my days to relax a little bit. And for anybody who's familiar with this, following the 80-20 rule, it, it doesn't, for me, it, it's nice to have a little bit of a break from the tracking. So here I decided to add a little bit of a decorative element. They're not exactly perfect, but I thought, let's give it a try. I saw this method being followed on a couple of Instagram stories, as well as a couple of YouTubers that I follow for bullet journaling. And this was um, a great way of adding a little bit of, um, I guess, a leaf element. And the way that you do it is basically you start with the point and then push down on the brush pen at an angle to create that kind of leaf effect. 
and I wanted to give it a try to add just a little bit of a dimension but now that I look at it I'm like I should have probably planned out where the leaves were gonna go better because it's not as symmetrical as I would have liked it but I think the colors still look absolutely beautiful I love having a rainbow spread it's very simple but the colors just make it stand out and the thing with bullet journaling is that it doesn't have to be overly complicated like for example I'm using the bottom of a glue stick to draw out a circle and then what I'm gonna do is do almost like a rainbow of leaves and I apologize for how long this is gonna take in the video you're just gonna see me switch between pens and go all the way around and this is really my first time do no I won't say first time the second time I've done this I've done a practice one before on a slightly larger scale and I don't think this circle worked out as well as I would have liked it to because the size of the circle versus the size of the actual brush pens it the the angling by the time you get to see here my angle of the leaves starts to widen out a bit it's not as um, 90 degree angle as it was when it first started so it got a little bit awkward by the time I got to this point point of the the circle but I still think it looks really cool and the only thing is though with these tombos they do bleed through the paper so that is gonna affect my spread on the other side but otherwise I love the way that it looks I just thought I'd write a little quote there that says do it and then with my Tombow Food no Suki pen, right in the days of the week for dinners. And that's it for me. What a wait! Using my Sharpie pen, writing the days of the week. Simple. Again, now that's it for me. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and have a great day.